Hello there, I'm Tom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to retune your TV uh, just to make sure you get all the latest services and stuff like that. I'm, I'm just re I'm doing this video now because it's just been a big retune in my area, uh, East Warren, East Sussex, and certainly you know most of East Sussex, in fact, where if you didn't retune your services, you would have lost most of your stuff. And that was to make way for 5G services, which are going to be brought, brought in at a later date or possibly even brought in now by the time you're watching this. Um, I'm coming to you today from my family home. Um, Naturally, being a family home, I had to spend 20 minutes looking for a remote, which I did finally end only for the sofa. <laughs> um, without any further ado, but I'm going to show you how to sort of do this, retune this TV. So, uh, we're going to turn it on, and we're going to give that a minute. There we go. Unfortunately, this, this TV is quite, quite quick, um, but there we go. So, it's come to a lot of channels I was on, so I was just flicking through the channels, and I was on Pit TV. Um, and we're going to want to retune that, just so we're going to pretend it's, it's either... I'm not tuned or we just want to retune to stay up to date with you should periodically retune TV anyway because they chop and change stuff they move stuff and if you don't retune stuff um, you might find some programs missing uh, it's usually quite a simple fix to get them back so this is a Samsung TV uh, this one here it's quite an old TV but I still like it, it does everything we need it to do uh, we don't need any smart functions and stuff like that because we've got the games consoles and we can do, we can do the Netflix and the, you know, the iPlayer through that um, so I didn't show you that. So on, on this TV, uh, this particular one's a Samsung. Um, now the method that I'm doing here might be slightly different for your TV, but the principles and stuff are exactly the same. Um, some of the buttons might be different. I'm going to have to press menu. Now that might be a settings or something like that, or tools, depending on what you know, TV you've got again. And I'm going to go down to this little dish here. Now with these cursor keys here, you can't be seeing because they're faded now, but I'm going to go down to this dish. Now, I don't know why it's got a dish, because this TV doesn't have a satellite connection, you can only connect the TV aerial. Um, but that kind of just represents, you know, represents broadcasting in general. Other, other countries don't really bother with TV aerials, they use satellite dishes and stuff like that now, or cable. Um, but TV aerials are still you know, probably the most popular way of doing it in the UK. Uh, and I'm going to show you the auto store method. Now, it's giving me an option here. Antenna source, air or cable. Now, air means TV aerial, cable means sort of cable access television, and we don't use cable. Even though it's a cable going into your TV, we don't use cable because it's, it uses a lower frequency band, um, and you won't get any, unless you want to be tuned for cable, but that really depends on your area. Um, usually, there's not many cable services about. Close, we've we got one down the road from us in East Dean, but that's just a little small village that they've got their own system. Um, oh, sorry, I'll have to come back to that to press one button. And. It's given another option, digital or analog. Now, unless you've got some sort of video playback system in your house, like you can watch your skybox in another room, or you've got some sort of modulator, which is you know allowing you to watch your DVD player or game console in analog in another room or in your main room, then we just want to put that on digital because the analog was switched off, you know, six years ago now. So, uh, but it's still, it's still, you know, on occasions we might use it. And we're going to go to search now. This might take some time. At the minute, where it's going to 8, 10, these are, these are the cable frequencies here. And we'll jump on 11 to 21, uh, or 12 to 21. There you go. And in between there, that's the tetra frequencies. So that's what uh, the police and the emergency services, they, they use some of these frequencies to broadcast on. Well, not so much nowadays. I think they use, you know, sort of 4G and stuff like that, a lot more common now. But it's illegal to tap into that band. So you've got the, the cable TV band, and then you've got the... UHF, or it's, it's part of the UHF, but you've got the you know, TV band where we put our TV signals. Now it's just scanning through um, to the service. It's stopped on 23. Believe it or not, that's not one we want. The transmitter we're using is the Heathfield transmitter, and it starts at UHF channel 40, which is up here somewhere, and it finishes about there. But it's, it's thinking about these ones because, when I say it's thinking about them, it's stopped, actually, it's just stored somewhere, but this TV should be sophisticated enough to um, pick out the, the best signals. Uh, and I say, I'm going to come to, so normally I wouldn't retune the TV this way, but if, if you're an amateur who you know, just wants to retune the TV, this is probably the best way of doing it. So we're on 25 again now. I'll, I'll come to what I was just saying. So even though we've got an aerial point up, you know, up and point in one direction, um, you can still pick up signals off the side of the aerial. So say my transmitter's there. There. If I've got a transit over here, that can still drift in off the side of the aerial and into a TV system. And depending on where you are, that can be different strengths and stuff like that. 
And then if you run into an amplifier, which is very common, so if you've got multiple TV points, so for example, we've got TV in every room naturally, because <laughs> what I do, I've got TV there in the kitchen, I've got three in the bedrooms, we haven't got one in the bathroom yet, but um, maybe I don't spend enough time in the bathroom. <laughs> um, and so, see, so it's just going through, it's, at the minute, it's, it's found 60 services, but believe me, we don't actually want them. Um, yeah, so that, that tra those transmission drift in, and until it gets amplified, it gets amplified to a level where the TVs think, oh, right, we can do some of this. this is, they don't know that that's a signal you want and what you don't want. Now, a lot of new TVs are sophisticated enough just to pick the best signals and arrange them in. And um, so, you know, you won't have any problems. But some of the older ones, they can't do that. So what they will do, they will just store services as they find them. And that's where you can run into some troubles with the auto-tune. So shortly after this video, I'm going to be making another video on how to manually tune your TV. Um, you need a little bit more knowledge on the transmit that you're using, but certainly you run into less problems. Um, and actually, if, if I was doing a job, you know, because I put the air up myself here, and well, I know how to manually tune TVs, if I was doing a job, I would try to filter out these channels that we don't want. So maybe we're stopping and pausing and finding you know, services before the ones we want. So if you look now, we're on 40, UHF channel 43. Um, these are these are channels we do, we do want now. I would actively try and filter them out for my customers, just so when they auto-tune the TV, they know they're going to just store the right stuff without having to, have to worry about manually tuning the TV. It does mean that you have to try a little bit more for like a filter or something like that, but yeah, I think it really does help, you know, especially with sort of comebacks and stuff like that. With, you know, a lot of, you put an aerial up and it works fine, uh, but it's just the TV's tuned in wrong. And, you know, to, to, in, in defence of the customers, they, they don't really know that. Um, so that's what I try to do. Uh, and when, when this is channel here, that's not a TV channel, so these are UHF channels, so that's a channel assigned with a frequency um, that's been broadcast on, so um, rather than have to remember all the frequencies in megahertz, which is like, you know, millions of, hundreds of thousands of, you know, repetitions in the air of a frequency, they've made it really easy for us just by giving us frequency bands 8 megahertz wide, so just have to remember the numbers, otherwise it's a lot more difficult to remember. Uh, now my TV here has given me uh, another option, Prime Region England, I don't know if it will let me, let me change that, no it won't let me change that, T second region, Kent and East Sussex, now if you're actually in East Sussex, um, a lot of TVs won't give you the East Sussex option, they only give you Kent, and it doesn't really matter, but I'll put it onto East Sussex, and go next, and it's complete, so that's it, so we've retuned our TV, and we, 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 we're definitely up to date with all the latest services and stuff like that now, so um, I recommend retuning probably once a you know, couple of months, or when you, certainly when you notice stuff is missing. Just be aware that if your TVO is not working, when you retune it, if it's trying to retune and something that isn't working, then um, you're going to lose it, because it won't be able to store it. Uh, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to try a few channels. So what channel are we on there? We was on, was on BC1. If I go to 101, of course it's a free view HD TV. We'll get the HD channels come up now. There you go, it's a bit of a better picture. Uh, but you, you, you want to just go through and just test, oh, I'm just in channel 5 now, um, maybe if I skip up to date or something. Some of these channels you might not get in your region, just to do with, it's more to do with the transmit of that, or you might have a problem with your aerial, if you're getting any problems. So if you get any pixelation after you tuned it, I'll, I'll, you want to go and check to make sure it's tuned right. Uh, and I'm just going to, on this TV, I can actually go and check. Um, so digital channel. That, that, I mean, that particular channel, I know tuned in right. So when I was coming back to um, the UHF channel, so UHF channel 43 is um, it's giving me it kilohertz, but it's 650 megahertz. Um, yeah, but I won't, I won't go into that because it's more manual tuning and there's another video for that. So I hope you like this video. I hope so, you know, I hope you certainly sort your problems out. I hope you don't have to call that professional to come do this for you because it really is quite easy. Uh, if you have any questions or any, you know, anything you want to help you with, please do leave it in the comment section below. Uh, and please, 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 please do subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, for more channels like this. Um, it's a lot more than just retuning TV, it's just how to install aerials and TV systems and AV systems and cameras and all that sort of stuff. So uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of, you know, good, useful content there for you. So please do do that right now. Uh, and there might be a little subscribe button here somewhere, I think. Uh, click that and subscribe to the YouTube channel. So I'm Tom. Bye.